Well, I wanted this to start getting better, and damn straight it has! It seems like the lost denizens of this mining colony somehow acquired the designs to the great mythical machine Megaleg, since Digaleg is wholly inspired by his design, if the name didn't tell you already. Of course, with Super Mario Galaxy 2's entire existence being written into the plot by the whole universal reset of Super Mario Galaxy's ending, this could all be a giant time-space coincidence that random off-screen yahoos somehow produced a more powerful killing robot with Bowser's Power Star than his own son with a Grand Star. Weird, right? The first thing is that they put Diggleg on a planet where it could actually fight effectively, since Diggleg's moon is about twice the size of the robot itself. The second thing is that they put the engine on the bottom of Diggleg instead of on the top, and while it isn't the perfect idea to still have an external engine on a death robot, at least it makes more sense this way. In the defense of himself, Mario has the newly discovered spin drill, which lets him traverse through planets to do things. Today's thing is killing Diggleg CPU, and it's not as simple as you'd think, since it is Diggleg who spawns a bunch of... I don't know what you'd call them, drill bills, maybe? Anyway, they run around the moon and stop your progress of getting to Diggleg's belly. These guys range from annoyances in the first fight and asshats in the Daredevil run, especially when they bounce off of Diggleg to come at Mario from the other direction. That stinks. Through all of this, you have to keep your eye on Diggleg to predict his moves so you can only get the hits on the star. If you can get the timing down, then you are at least set, since Diggleg's only other trick is to produce two drill bills instead of one on his last life. Diggleg is a real challenge in a sequel to a game that had a total lack of it, so seeing this robot actually able to kill things makes this a real boss. And then there's the design of Diggleg in his arena that I simply love. It shows off the lore, it, it's a clever callback, and the arena makes the best use out of Diggleg's whole deal rather than Megaleg being stuck on a tiny moon just because reasons.